Hey y'all, so I'm back and yes, my hair looks crazy. Like crazy, but I just blew it out. Like it, it, it's just been blown out. This is me washed and blow dried. Okay, and now I'm about to straighten it out. So I'm not gonna be looking that much crazier on this vlog, but this, this is like natural me, okay? <laughs> um, but um, what I wanted to jump on here and say is just to quickly go over the agenda for tomorrow. So tomorrow we have church in the morning. Um, and then after that, um, myself and Rochelle should be getting together um, for, I think we said dinner and drinks. Potentially we might go to a poetry night that's up in the air. Like the actual plans of exactly where we're going is still kind of up in the air. We haven't confirmed yet where to go tomorrow, but we shall see. Um, I think we're going to be like around the Galleria area or something like that, but we'll, we'll figure it out. We haven't confirmed anything. We just said like, it's time to get together. We haven't gotten together in a minute. Every time we say we're going to get together, we're like, oh, we'll just get together next. Let's get, let's get together next weekend. And then the next weekend comes and then we're just kind of like, yeah, I don't feel like going out now. <laughs> And this is literally how it's been for the two of us. Um, we're getting together. Like, even when we ended the phone call today, we kind of laughed and chuckled with each other. It was just kind of like, yeah, um, we'll confirm tomorrow and see how we feel. But, like, today, we both in the mood. Like, we both like, yeah, let's go out tomorrow. Like, today, we weren't ready for that. Like, like I said, I washed my head. Like, I wasn't going out in the streets like this. You know, I washed my hair and I like to let it air dry. I like to use the least amount of heat as possible on my hair. So... Yeah, today was a myth. And we weren't trying to get out today because the weather wasn't the best. It was really windy. It was kind of cool today. So, yeah, today wasn't the day. But tomorrow, it's going to be hot. The sun's going to be out. It's going to be pretty. So, I probably will be in the mood. And especially because I'm going to church first. So, I'm like, I'm probably going to be in the mood to hang out, like, you know, later on in the day. Because I'll already be dressed and out and all that kind of jazz. So, that is tomorrow. Let's see. Do y'all ever get like that? Like... I know we're not the only ones like sometimes it's like yeah like when you plan things you're so excited for them in advance but then when it comes to the time you just kind of like I kind of wish I wasn't doing that now you know like I just kind of wish I wasn't doing that anyway y'all okay so I have my hot toddy um heat protectant mist there we go my hot toddy heat protectant mist this is what I use in my hair um, and I basically spray this on to my hair and then obviously we style with the straightener. Um, I use my GHD straighteners. I really want to get the Baby Bliss ones because um, I've heard that they're pretty good. Or the, um, what are they called? The T3s. They're also another um, great brand. I also kind of just quickly like use um, heat protectant serum by Olive Oil. I use this as well, just a little bit. And before I spray that onto each section whilst I'm straightening it out, I just use this and I kind of just, because this also gives my hair like sh healthy shine. So I, I kind of just, you know, just put it all throughout the hair make it feel good and smell good and and dress it up and then um <laughs> and then i'm gonna go in and spray this on each section as i section it i got my uh, little clip here my comb here my clip here and yeah i'm just gonna work through my hair so anyway so y'all i think i spoke about like something that was going on um but we are going to be taking a quick trip home, back home to London, um, to see the family. Um, I've got some stuff that I need to take care of back home. And so I will be out there in London for a while. Um, so some vlogs may but may not really be vlogged whilst I'm out there, um, because of the situation, but... Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll, like, catch some stuff, like, when I catch up with, like, some of my friends back home. Because they cast me, because they're like, you always come home, but you never have, like, enough time. And we just literally see you, like, one time. And that is so true. Like, I usually, like, with my friends, like, they only get to see me, like, one day. <laughs> I can squeeze in, like, because a lot of the time I'm with family or I'm just, like, I'm passing through London. 
because that's a thing as well. Like, I just be passing through. Um, or I'm going up to see my mom in Newcastle because that's where she lives. So, it's like, it's a lot. <laughs> I don't always get to spend time with them. But this time, I will be in London. I'm not going up to Newcastle. I just saw my mom, like you guys knew. I mean, this wasn't, a, the plan was not for me to go to London right now, actually. This is actually a real last minute um emergency kind of trip home so yeah i'm not gonna go and see my mom i'm spending a bomb to go right now it's high and i'm just like financially i'm like golly but family comes first and when your family needs you you, you you've got to go home so essentially that's what i'm doing um so that is so if you're wondering why well v you haven't been talking about a vacation or, or going home and and doing stuff it's because it wasn't planned y'all it really really wasn't planned um this is literally an impromptu trip back home to do and take care of some business that i seriously need to take care of and to see my family um but yeah but hopefully i get to like kind of work in a little bit of it'll be nice to have like a little bit of fun with my friends because i don't get to see them very often although i've been home like it'll be nice to have the weekends kind of but at the same time my family's gonna want to spend time with me be, because obviously the weekends is the only time i'm not working i'm gonna be working whilst i'm out there so it's just like <laughs> it's just a lot going on y'all I'm just like, okay, well, I'm just gonna try. Y'all, I got some damage at the back. Ooh, chair. It's always right there, and I think it's because I put wear my hair in a bun, and I pull it tight. So, always, like, in the back, there's, like, a little short bit, but whatever. We cut it off. We dry again. It grows. It breaks. I'm over it. I'm over figuring that part out, because I'm just like, yeah, well, there's always a little bit of breakage somewhere. But I think it's because I wear my hair in a ponytail and it's kind of tight. I really shouldn't do that. Because it's not heat damage with that piece. But And it's just a little tiny bit on this side. I don't know why it does it. It irritates me. Does anyone else have that? <sighs> anyway, y'all. This is getting long. But I did just want to explain to you if you're like, oh, wait, hold on. You in Houston. Next minute you on a plane. Like, what's going on? That's pretty much what's going on um i don't think i'm gonna record anything else much after tomorrow um oh wait no i am recording but it's more like reels and like short form content um that i will be recording so that i still have stuff to go out um whilst i'm out there um and then obviously if i have any short form fun content if i go anywhere with my friends then um I will obviously, obviously include that as well. So, yeah, this is pretty much what you're gonna get. But I just wanted to jump on here real quick tonight before um, I go to bed. I'm just straightening my hair and then we're getting ready for bed because we have an early start tomorrow at church. And I'm back serving, so yeah, it's gonna be a busy day tomorrow. <laughs> All right, y'all. Um, I will catch up with you guys in the morning. If I don't see you guys again tonight, we'll talk in the morning. Night. Hey y'all, good morning. Uh, good morning. We are heading out to church today. I'm going to show y'all the outfit real quick for church. And then y'all going to see how we switch it up this afternoon. Well, tonight for dinner. Y'all, I'm hoping this hair just holds. Oh my God. She just, I don't know what she's doing. She kind of doing her own thing this morning and it's stressing me out. Okay, I don't know how the lighting is here, but we're just going to try and show y'all the outfit real quick. So we are still, because it's um, Autism Awareness Month, we're still wearing blue. So this is the outfit. Okay, so I am wearing this blue dress with my sparkly uh, shoes. The dress is Amazon, y'all. Amazon's greatest. Sometimes you, especially with us being color coordinated, I don't always have like appropriate dress. I had a blue dress, but it wasn't appropriate for what I need to do in church. So I was like, I need to order another blue dress. So this is the one that I ordered. It's from Amazon. 
super cute it's got like a flower detail let you i'm gonna tell you the back is a little see-through so make sure you wear something appropriate if you decide to get this dress and then these shoes i can't remember if they're from ross marshall's one of them that's where these ones are from these sparkly uh shoes but anyway i wanted something comfortable because i'm gonna be running up and down like a crazy person today anyway let's get out of here i got to go i'm running i ain't late but I still don't want to be walking in exactly on time. You know, like, wait, let me get out of here and stop mumbling on. I'll see y'all later. Bye. Okay, y'all. I'm just going to keep it real with you. I'm back from church. And this is the the good, the bad, and the ugly. I'm about to take this wig off and I'm about to curl the whole thing because I didn't have time to do that this morning. And yeah. But I'm going out with my girl Rock. We called. Okay, wait, hold on. Because y'all will be like, V, why your eyes look like that? Like, first of all, I don't cried off majority of my makeup, I think. Uh, one lash was holding on for dear life. I done ripped it off your child. So, that's why. That's why we here. Looking like this. And I'm sorry. Now that I bore attention to it, because you probably didn't really, really notice it at first. But now y'all really, really notice it. But that's because I'm home now, and I'm about to start getting ready. Back to me. Oh, my girl, Rochelle Chanel. And we about to have a girl's day. Look, y'all, I've been going through it lately. Like, I cried my lash off today. I, when I tell you several times, people can't stop. And I was like, I'm good. Like, I'm good. I can hold it together. I can get through it. And, child, when, the, when I tell you the spirit was just moving through me today, and I just couldn't keep it in, I cried throughout the whole of service pretty much today and everyone got cat when, when somebody would ask me be like oh are you okay I'm, like, I'm going through a lot man and then after that they would just hug me and, and let me cry and I just I couldn't do it y'all I couldn't do it and every time they hugged me and touched me oh my goodness it would just come out but you know what I feel like I needed that because I've been holding it in I carry it every single day and so like just being able to let it out and just feel free and cry and that's why like today when Rochelle's like well you feel like it and I was like yeah I still feel like it and she was like you feel and I was like yeah she's like we need a girls night and I'm like we do like we really do need a girls night where we can just have fun so we're gonna go to Moxie's here in Houston you've seen me there once before when um when Neek came down to Houston I met with her and her husband at Moxie's so we're going back to Moxie's um me and Rochelle and we're just gonna have like a girls afternoon day and we're just gonna see where the day takes us I don't know how long we're gonna stay down there or not we're gonna meet up around four so you know the night's still young and maybe once we get I was just like I need some fun time like I just need to get out and have a good time and I wasn't too sure if I was gonna vlog but then I was like y'all always see me in the house so it's about time that I showed y'all that I do go out. I haven't been going out lately um as much not really this week I had this weekend like on Friday I went out but that was for work and then today I'm going out so I was like I need to show y'all like I actually do have a little life outside this house <laughs> uh sometimes so I was just like okay yeah I'll, I'll vlog um but you know I, I can't promise how much footage I'm gonna get because I'm gonna try but at the same time like I just I kind of just need my girl like I just want to have some fun and just kind of get my mind off of everything for right now and I know this is crazy but y'all V keeps it real okay and your girl looks crazy right now she does with one lash on with one lash off I probably should take this one but yeah because this one kind of feel like okay yeah see that one was holding on for dear life too it was too easy to remove so anyway we gonna get this house together we gonna touch up this makeup Mm-hmm. Can y'all really can y'all see that I was crying? I mean my concealer. I just think I need to redo my concealer and everything else should be okay. Um so yeah. I I appreciate y'all for rocking with me and keeping up with me and my craziness. But I gotta find me an outfit. Cause I'm like, well, she's gonna be looking like a snack, okay? She done sent me a picture of her outfit and I was just like, it's hot. So I'm gonna give the, the ladies the legs today, okay? We coming with the legs today, ladies, um, because, yeah, I was like, it's going to be hot. I want to wear my shorts, some heels, and uh, we're going to see what else we get into. So, anyway, I'll catch up with y'all later just in case we end up at a bar party and dancing. I don't know what we're going to do, but we're going to have a good time because it's Sunday fun day, baby. It's Sunday fun day. <laughs>
All right, y'all. I'll catch up with y'all in a little bit. Let me leave y'all so I don't, you know, babber on too much. We're going on four minutes on this one little clip. So, I'll catch up with y'all in a bit. Bye. Okay, y'all. So, I don't know which jacket I'm going to wear. I'm still deciding. Focus video. Thank you. Okay, so I don't know which video, which jacket I'm going to wear. I'm still deciding. It's just that it's really hot today. And the one that I've got on right now is actually lighter. So... This is the the outfit um, with my heels that I'm put on in the car. Y'all already know how I do. Okay, so here we go. This is the outfit. Well, mine is the shoes. her in a minute it's been a minute y'all probably don't even think we real friends we real friends <laughs> it's just been a minute we haven't had a chance to catch up but we literally have been sitting out here for the longest time on the bench yep. <laughs> talking it's actually dark right now yes. and but we had a wonderful dinner and you guys have to go over to Michelle's channel and check out the whole the whole day because we can't redo it. There's a lot of jokes, a lot of things that we've seen, a lot of things that have happened today that we will discuss. Baby, we just seen a foot long and a Polish sausage inside some gray sweatpants, girl. <laughs> in with that but you need to go over to her channel check her out and go and watch and see what we did today because honestly you will not be disappointed and yeah. you really love this girl anyway so <laughs> go over and say hey so your girl B sent you <laughs> and now we're gonna go get some ice cream yes we want some ice cream yes so I'll catch up with y'all in a bit bye yes. <laughs> Okay, y'all. 
are so we made it back home and i am ready for bed just finished getting ready for bed and just oh, taking a shower just zen in just having a good Musa moment but i had so much fun with rochelle today <laughs> i really needed that i really really needed some let's get together and chill and catch up and just have girl time and just really chit chat and just laugh like i haven't laughed like that in so long i think and i said this time today i said i think that the last time i laughed so hard was this when we was on the phone <laughs> throughout the week so <laughs> um but yeah it just it felt really nice and guys that's something that i just okay that's something that i want you all to start pouring into yourselves sometimes we our wells run dry and we are literally running off a small little bit of fumes left for the day and sometimes you need to pour back into yourself to refuel that cup just to refuel the fire just to keep on going and just to really solidify and remind yourself why you do what you do and to have the energy and want and love for what you do you kind of need that so that was kind of really with everything that's been going on with me um like just having some family serious family stuff going on um today was just something that i really needed i just wanted to laugh i just wanted to have fun i just wanted to kick back y'all y'all know usually when i go with the girls and all the ladies and things like that I, I always vlog and I do a lot of recording. I didn't even catch that much clips today because I seriously was just enjoying the moment of being with my girl. There was a dude, there was a guy <laughs> that came and tried to hit on your girl. <laughs> and um, he was not my type. I think I'm just going to keep it to this. Like he was not my type at all. Um, he was polite. I was polite. I was sweet. I kindly told him I'm not giving him my phone number. I kindly, I kindly told him that because he thought he was like, well, why wouldn't you give me, why? Why? What's wrong with like just talking? And I'm just like, yeah, no. Um, <laughs> and you know, I did the whole, you know, my man wouldn't appreciate that. Um, so and he's like, you lying? Cause you know, I'm from up north, and we can tell when women are lying. And I'm like, okay, well, it's up to you if you want to believe me. You don't want to believe me. That's up to you. But, you know, I appreciate it, but no thanks. Um, he just wasn't my type in, like, anyway. I seriously, like, I actually thought the guy was homeless. I'm, like, honestly, all jokes aside, like, seriously, I thought, I thought he was homeless when I first um, saw him coming up and approaching us. And I thought he was just going to ask us for, like, spare change or whatever. But, um, yeah, he wasn't homeless. He was actually trying to hit on your girl. And he really wasn't my type. So, one thing I try to do, like, you know, I... I never want to be that female that hurts that man's feelings in the fact of like that scars them right I don't want to be that woman that scars them and ruins it for another lady right so I try to be as nice and as polite but as firm as I possibly can because men can be pushy guys y'all really can be pushy and you do do that um but I really just try to um be like you know no thank you you know do the whole you know i've got a man situation blah 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 and i just think that when you do it that way like you're showing them that you respect them and you're showing them that you know it's okay to get turned down but don't give up like i mean give up with me because i'm turning you down but don't give up with another lady because what is not for me maybe another woman out there is looking for exactly that right and she could be crazy attracted to you she could love all your qualities and things like and want to give you a chance and things like that but i that's just not me i'm just not there when it comes to certain people um and stuff so yeah I, the, the attraction just wasn't there for me it wasn't gonna work um and you know like like i said i'm seeing someone so you know it just wasn't 
really wasn't gonna work so just try to be nice and polite there is no need you don't need to be rude you don't need to be disgusting you don't need to cuss them out you don't need to do any of that stuff i think that that just really sometimes you really are bruising that man's self-esteem just a little bit so i think ladies if we can try a lesson to yourself is to try and tone down how you would want to be toned down if like you was approaching a man you would want him to have respect for you and just to be like hey i'm really sorry like my wife da, da, da. or you know me or show and i were talking about it today and was just like you know men make those kind of subtle hints like they'll be like oh yeah my wife bought me this or you know my wife said that or whatever they do like kind of subtle hints in the way so you can get like hey he's got a wife or you know like his lady or whatever they kind of drop it in there somewhere so my thing is I think there's, there's, that's the problem with a lot of us in dating is that we're just not really being mindful of how you would want to be treated. So ladies, it's just important. That's just one, my little TED talk for today is treat these men how you would want to be treated. And you just because you're not interested doesn't mean that they're dogs, doesn't mean that they're the worst men on earth, doesn't mean like, oh, they're, her they're terrible. Now this man was not at all my type. At all. And I don't really have a type, but he wasn't it. I know that for a fact. I just wanted to bring that up and just have a little TED talk before I went to bed. Um, so that you guys can kind of see where I'm coming from. Anyway, I, like I said, I didn't really vlog him. I didn't vlog any of that situation. I barely vlogged us sitting down on the bench and just having a chit chat. And literally just watching people. Um, but it was great catching up with Rochelle. So make sure you guys do go and check out her channel. Um, I put it up on the screen before, but if you missed it, let me put it back down here again. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to give that thumbs up and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any upload. And of course, hit that red subscribe button. Anyway, chicas, it is time for your girl to go to bed. I'm tired. I'm really, really tired. Um, oh, that ice cream was good. It hit the spot. I ain't gonna lie. And we had lots, lots of compliments, like all day we were literally getting compliments today, which was really nice. And people just kept telling us we're such beautiful women and, you know, we're inspiring. And a psychic came up to us and she was just kind of like, oh, you ladies. Like, she was, I get really good energy from the two of you. You know, you're both beautiful women and I just really like your vibe, and your energy. And was just like, yeah, I was like, I really like your vibe. Like she was giving me good vibes too. And she just looked so calm and peaceful. And I just love seeing women that are just looking so calm and so peaceful. It's beautiful. It's really, really beautiful. Anyway, y'all, I love y'all. I'm going to bed. I'm tired. I got work in the morning. So I will catch up with y'all tomorrow. Night guys. For all I need, personality, Tears. everything you do, makes me love, everything about you, just my